Well, uh, thank you very much for being a part of me uh, every time I come online and every time I want to present something online. My name is Isaac Kasioka and I am your host today definitely because this is our YouTube channel for the company. Well, uh, I'm here today basically to explain where I've been. There have been uh, several things which I've been doing uh, offline. For example, I had arranged for a certain meeting which I attended last week, that was uh, Emerging Leaders Foundation, uh, specifically for the Good Polit Politician Project. So I attended the project, I attended the training, and now I'm here. So the week which is ending today, also I have been away. And uh, since Monday, I come here with uh, bad news, or other news which are not very, very interesting to people. I was hospitalized. I was uh, admitted at KNH for the entire week, but now everything is okay. I am healed and I am here. Well, uh, there are a couple of things which I have learned ever since I went to the hospital. And uh, to be honest with you, I have learned the the need or rather the, 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 the good things with uh, appreciating life itself because I saw very bad things at the hospital. Also, please note that uh, this uh, session is not uh, pre-recorded, rather it is not written down to be narrated back. They are just memories which are playing right from my mind. And uh, last week, or rather this week which is ending today, I learned that uh, it is really a gift to be alive. It is really something to be appreciative of to be alive because uh, many people wish they could have a good breath. Many people wish they could just smile around. Many people wish they could walk around. But uh, it has come to me a realization that that is not possible for many people. And it is not something which should be taken for granted. For instance, uh, at the hospital, I know most of you are asking themselves, what was Kasioka doing at the hospital? And I'll be very honest with you, uh, several years ago, that is like uh, four or five years ago, I was uh, I was diagnosed with a very rare form of uh, chronic disease, that is uh, multiple sclerosis. But finally, I had to schedule it to go to the hospital for medication. And I went to KNH, which is very, 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 very accessible to me as of the moment for treatment of this disease. And uh, finally, now I'm okay. I'm taking my drugs. Uh, and uh, the things which I've learned, one of them is uh, we should appreciate life in entirety. Because um, the world which I was at, you could see people are struggling. There's a guy who had very many fractures just beside me. That guy could cry from morning to evening, from evening to morning, and it was very deteriorating. It was very upsetting just to see someone, a child of God, crying from time to time. Please don't worry about the shadows in this video because uh, there's nothing much I would have done. I just chose to go online. Well, uh, I would like to outline uh, the things which I have learned for the last eight or so days. One, I have learned that family is very important. It is very good to have a family that supports you and that stands by you no matter the situation, no matter the time which you are. Two, I have learned that the National Hospital Insurance Fund, that is NHIF in Kenya, is very important for people. And um, I had a very big bill. I had a very big hospital bill. But NHIF was able to take care of the biggest chunk of the bill, except for the drugs which I never got at the hospital. That is KNH, Kenyatta National Hospital. But now everything is okay. Uh, I'm here taking my drugs, and uh, I can appreciate life. The other thing which I learned is that we are all candidates of disability. Today, as you see me seated here, I might seem very healthy, but I'll be very honest with you. Uh, 
I am now officially a disabled person, I can say, because uh, MS, that is uh, multiple sclerosis, has uh, really got into my backbone, into my spinal cord, and it is unfortunate that I'm here. So I am hoping that people take care. I used to be a very smart person back then. Well, being smart is not a problem, but uh, I wish people could be more and more careful. You can invite your friends to join into this life and they learn one or two things because uh, it is unfortunate that I had to learn the hard way. But uh, health is something which needs to be appreciated at all times. And now I am more vigilant with my health more than any other time. I'm also here today to report to you that I learned that at the hospital, please and please and please, 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 this one I repeat again, please never ever take anyone for granted, especially those nurses you see there. You might see some nurses at uh, Kenyatta National Hospital and think that uh, they don't know what they are doing or you might think that they are rude, but they are not rude. I came to learn that these guys are very, very friendly and also they have a very big heart. And therefore, if you want a good side with them, just cooperate with them. If they tell you lie down here, do not ask two questions, just go lie down. That is the best thing that you can do to them because their job is very, very, very hard. And therefore, kindly appreciate them. And also, if it is possible, uh, just get them some tea and tell them, thank you very much for taking care of me. Because for the entire five days which I was there, I was lying down on the bed and I didn't know the future. I didn't know if I would wake up and get back to the house. Right now I'm in the house. I am celebrating life and I am waiting for my wife and child to come back to the house so that you can continue with life. But now, uh, let me ask you a question. Let's assume if I, if I took those guys for granted, what would it be? It would be very bad by now. But uh, we lived the world with them and uh, everything went smoothly. Everything went on uh, in a quite seamless manner. And uh, this time... I am seated here and I'm really thankful to God. And uh, the other thing I learned uh, in my entire hospitalization period is that the church is very important. Well, this one might have divergent views, but me, I believe in the church as a person. Uh, believing in the church means that everybody will be attached to a certain religion. For example, when I go to Nairobi, or rather, ever since I got to be a grown-up, I assimilated myself to Anglican Church of Kenya, that is SEK, that it is quite popular among uh, many, many Kenyans, especially people who live in the central part of the, of the country, that is Kikuyu, uh, Kiambu, Tikarod. It is very popular, and uh, it is very good to assimilate yourself to church. And uh, if it was not the church, the church kept me on prayers. The pastor came to the hospital to see me. The, they sent a delegation to come and see me. So it means that live alone the family. Now, coming, coming home, coming back to the church, it means that if you have a church, if you have a church which you can call your home, you can be able to be supported by that church and you will find everything being very seamless. Always remember to subscribe. Maybe you are watching this and you're not yet subscribed. Kindly subscribe and uh, everything will be okay for you. And uh, finally, or rather not even finally, there's a lot I can say about the experience I had last week. First and foremost, I never posted any video because I was away. Um, I came to realize that being, being a person, being a person, uh, a body gets tired at some point. And uh, coming to realize that a body gets tired. I realized it through the quote-unquote hard way because uh, my body was wearing out. As uh, most people know, I started working when I was 18. You can imagine working from 18 up to right now, I am uh, around 28, 29, 30. So I have worked for all those years. And all those days, there's no day you would have found me in the office without a tie, without a suit, without 
as in I was a, an extremely smart person. But today, if you ask me where are my official shoes, I even don't know where any of them is. And I'm here to tell you that uh, today, if someone calls me for an interview, I will not lie to you. I have so many questions before I go to that interview because uh, one, first and foremost, how is the job? How is the pressure at the job? It's not that I cannot handle pressure. Of course, I can handle pressure. But uh, how is the job? How is it going? What, what is in it for me? What am I going to get from this job? So those are the things which I'll be looking for as I continue working, or rather as I continue joining uh, employment this time, because uh, I want to be in the right place. And uh, something else which I learned uh, from that place, or rather from the hospital, is that there are tricks, or rather, I can't say tricks, there are ways which you can use to maneuver your way in a, in a, in an hospital setting. For example, I had a consultant who was supposed to look at me. But uh, when I went to gain it, I consulted before deciding on which ward I'll be admitted. I consulted on the best place to go. And I was told if I join the general ward, well, the general ward was like a private to me, but I, I was told if I joined the general ward, first and foremost, the consultant would not charge me for seeing me. But you know, most of the time what happens is that uh, we join the, the other ward, the private ward, the consultant comes and, and charges, and uh, we are left there in a, in a dark situation and we are wondering what is happening because it is very expensive. But once you join the general ward, once you join the ward where everybody is, you not be charged by the consultant. So it makes it cheaper for you. The other thing I learned is that once you join the general ward, NHIF will cover everything. Your limits are so good. Actually, when I came home, I started researching on the limits of NHIF. I didn't know them. There before, they are like, let's say two weeks ago, you would have asked me if NHIF is a good uh, policy. I would have told you no, NHIF is not a good policy. But uh, right now, I am uh, in one or the other. I can tell you without fear of contradiction or fear of doubt that NHIF is a very good cover. And the person who came up with NHIF uh, really tried because uh, this is a cover which is working for the average Kenyan and uh, is a cover which is going to work for many years. Well, next, the other thing uh, which which I would like to talk about, as I said there before, this conversation is not structured. This conversation, it is not uh, directed to a certain faction, or rather it is not sponsored by anyone, and I am not advertising anything. So the other thing I learned in the entire journey is that nothing can go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. This, uh, this hospital called Kenyatta National Hospital, that is KNH, it has the best brains. So even when the student doctors, the consultants were coming, the physicians were coming, the medical officers were coming to see me, I could tell these brains were very good. And uh, I was very happy. I enjoyed the entire stay there. And uh, thank you very much to KNH. And I'll be ever grateful for you. So now, mapping the way forward, someone is asking me what will be happening in the channel onwards, and I am back now. I will tell you for free, I am back. Before I got admitted, there is a video I had shot about a fork folding. I, I look for it and get it and make sure that I post it, and uh, everybody will be able to view it. So join me in this journey. Kindly keep on subscribing, keep on inviting your friends, keep on joining our live so that we can be together in these videos, so that you can discover many, many great things, and we can be all happy. And we can all join hands and say we grew together. That, uh, that means one day, one time, I'll be remembering what happened, and I'll be saying, oh, I was with this guy when I was growing. I was with this guy when I was uh, moving from step to step. And we'll be all happy, and I'll be, I'm still on the party. I'll be turning a couple of years old 
and uh, I'll be smiling uh, as I say, this guy is a help my hand. Also, kindly please subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you'll be the not among my notification gang. So that whenever I upload a video, whenever I upload anything, you'll be among the first people to know that something has come up, and you'll be notified to join me and I start celebrating with me. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Thank you very much and may God bless you. George Muruke, I've seen you. God bless you. Uh, my hair, I think my hair is unkempt, but don't worry. Everything will be okay. Thank you very much. God bless you and uh, see you another time. Thank you.